Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. We are going to show you that it is not the hood that makes a monk. In respect to the noise about Bola Metinubu building school in, in Lagos, while Peter B did not build school, that he renovated schools in Anambra State. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. And uh, to rain on mockery and all those who spread that information. It's like saying that you have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. But before we go deep into it, because in this video, you are going to see how the children that are the product of the educational reforms that P2B did when he was governor have consistently been beating the children of Bola Metinobu from Lagos State in Waek for over a decade. So that you know that it is not the hood that makes a monk. You get me clearly? You are going to see with facts and figures how the children the product of the reforms of Peter Obi in education have been beating the product of the school that Bola Metinebu built in Lagos. They have been Anambra students who are the product of Peter Obi's reforms. As I talked to you, T dates, they are beating. Tinubu's children from Lagos State in Waek, in Jam, and everything. But in this in this video, I will restrict it only to Waek, so that you see that it is not the hood that make the monk. It is not about the fancy building. Of course, Peter B renovated schools in Anambra State, provided computer computers, the highest number of computers in secondary school in Nigeria system was provided by P2B. He provided boreholes, he provided school buses. The buses were supplied by Nursing Motors. And then he made his telephone number available to all the uh, uh, school uh, head boys in secondary schools in Anambra State. Many of them still hold his number to this day. And the icing of the cake is that the reform he made has pushed Anambra to the top of educational ranking in Nigeria. And that the products of that school, that reform, they keep on flooring Lagos State products in Waek, which is where it matters most. It's not about the building. When they ask you, show us your work, they don't ask you how the building, the building where you, you, where you receive your lessons or your lectures look like. We want to see the paper. How many credits do, they, do, you, do, do the students that attended the school that was built by Bola Ahmed, you know, how many credits do they make in work compared to how many credits the products of P2B's reform in Anambra State. How much? How many do they make? And you are going to see ranking that was done by MBS, National Bureau for Statistics. So let us look at. We are going to go a little bit far back. We wouldn't go that far back, but we are giving you information that you can use you can go and verify like peter b used to say you can go and verify now let us start from 2015 
when the West African Examination Council released the performance statistics of candidates that participated in the 2015 May June WAEC organized May June West Africans Secondary School Certificate Examination organized by the Council, Abia State topped the national chart with 33,762 of each. 52,801 candidates getting five credits and above. Anambra State came second. Anambra State came second. That's the state of Peter Obi with 28,379 out of 46. 1,385 candidates, while Abia State came third with 63.74% of the performance rate. Anambra uh, got, while Abia scored 63.94%, Anambra got 61.18% out of 100%. Delta, Enugu, and Ebony State dominated the top 10 of the best results in 2015. In 2015, Lagos State was not in the top 10. Lagos State was nowhere to be found here. Those who attended the school that Bola Metinobu built, the product from those schools were not represented here. Now, it is also instructive that if you look at the WIAC results 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, it was only in 2016 that Lagos came to the top 10. But Anambra was a constant in 2023, you know, 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016, among the best performing states in Nigeria. And the best performing states in Nigeria were dominated by people of Southeast. Southeast states dominates, and Anambra is part of that dominance. And Lagos State is nowhere to be found in that dominance. Now let us continue because it is always important that some of these people they think they know but they know they are smart. Not knowing that it's not about the building. It is about the reform. Peter will be one of the things he did was handing over the schools to the missionaries. And he was funding it adequately. And today, the result, the Anambra State is still reaping the result of that reform. It is not about setting up new structures. You don't have to build new roads. Okay, just like uh, already there are schools in Anambra State. No, no part of Anambra is complaining that they don't have access to school. So, so you have to build a new school just to show that you can build school. No. Peter B is a man who is strategic. He ran an umbra like a business. You don't uh, you don't mend it if it is not broken. And what he found out was that the school system was in shambo as a result of uh, Mbadinuju's reign. Mbadinuju messed up an umbra state. Teachers were on strike for almost three years. Public school was not functional. That was what he inherited. That was still what Peter B inherited. And Peter B transformed it. And today, Anambra has some of the best schools you can think of in Nigeria. It's not about, uh, this, this is not a, a question of hyping. The WIAC result is showing it. The WIAC result is showing it. Reno Mokri was talking about Atiku Abaka built. What is the position of uh, Adamawa? 
in the WAEC resort that we're talking about. Where, where, do I, where is Adamawa? If Lagos cannot even be found among the best performing WAEC stakes, talk of Adamawa, so that somebody builds a school or something, that doesn't mean anything. What is the impact of the building of the school? Is Adam able to fill his quotas in, in jump? How many of them perform well in jump? Because Reno Mokri was talking about Atikwa uh, Baka uh, Build School. What's his name? Tinubu Build School. So, what is the result of that school? when the products from there cannot even beat those who didn't pass out through fancy school building Lagos. In any case, what matters is the result. And the schools in Anambra were okay. P2B renovated them. He don't have to, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Now let us look at, in 2017, let us look at WAEC Resort. We have glanced through 2020, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. Let us look at WAEC Resort 2017. In 2017, Abia recorded the best result in May, June, West African uh, Secondary School Certificate Examination. According to the ranking, Abia State, which presented 51,839 candidates, recorded 81.54% of students who obtained five credits with English language and mathematics. Statistics also show that the Southeast dominated the top 10 ranking. Now, Southeast had four states in the top 10 ranking with Abia, first, Imo, fourth, Anambra, sixth, Enugu, ninth. Lagos was nowhere to be found. Let me take it again because so that this thing will sink in. Lagos, where Tinubu built the school, okay? Tinubu started the school from scratch, okay? But the product of that school could not beat the students that attended the renovated schools in Anambra State. So which one is better for you? If you are an employer of labor, do you employ those who attended the school that Bola Metinibu built from scratch? Built from scratch, but they couldn't get up to five credits like those who attended the renovated school in Anambra State. And look at it. We're talking about 2017 results of WAEC. Southeast had four states in the top 10 ranking, with Abia first, Imo fourth, Anambra sixth, Enugu ninth, and Lagos was nowhere to be found. In 2018, WAEC result ranking of all the taxi states plus the federal capital territory Abuja, again, Southeast topped the charts ahead of the other geopolitical zone. And Anambra is part of those Southeast states that topped in 2018. And uh, Southeast defeated, also did better than Southwest, where Lagos is located. Now, let us look at in 2019. In 2019, WAEC Resort, Abia, Anambra spearheaded Southeast dominance of performance 
performance ranking of WAEC 2019. You can go and Google it and read it. This thing I'm telling you is not rocket science. It is not classified information. You can go to Google and check it out. 2019 WAEC result performance state by state. You see it there. Okay? Abia and Anambra spearheaded Southeast dominance of performance. Dominance of performance ranking chart of WAEG. And that year, a 16 year old girl from Southeast, Uboaja Chizobam Stephanie, who sat the 2019 examination emerged the youngest best candidate in the history of the examination and I understand that girl is from Anambra State now let us look at 2021 work work result in 2021 work result south south and southeast outshine southwest and northwest in white performance lagos is in southwest though look let me read to you how business day of course you have seen it on your screen here how business day described this reportage this this revelation by national bureau of statistics about the 2021 WAEC result. This is how Business Day described it. He said, Northwest and Southwest geopolitical zones recorded worst results in West Africa school certificate examination conducted by WAEC in 2021. In WAEC results, published by National Bureau of Statistics. Let me read it again, oh. Let me read it again, oh. So that those of them, all the Romokri and all those making noises, will know that it is not the hood that makes a monk. In 2021, WAEC, South, South, Southeast outshine Northwest and Southwest in WAEC performance. And Business Day in their report, in their report of this matter, wrote, he said, Northwest and Southwest geopolitical zones recorded worst result in WAEC examination conducted by WAEC. That's recorded worst results. It's, it's, okay, this is what they said. Northwest and Southwest geopolitical zone recorded worst results in West Africa school, secondary school certificate examination conducted by WAEC in 2021. In WAEC results published by National Bureau of Statistics. This was published by National, this analysis was broken down by National Bureau of Statistics. You can go and check it out. Go and verify, as Peter will be used to say. Lagos State is among the Southwest states that performed worse. This, that's their worst result, they are not Northwest. So it's not about that, the noble beauty. So who are, what are the quality? Of the teachers there, what all the quality of the students there? Are they ready to learn? It's not a, it's, it's, the hood does not make a monk. The hood does not make a monk. That is what Ren or Mokre and Co do not know. Now let us look at a breakdown of the 2021 WAEC result by National Bureau of Statistics. Enugu State came first with perform performance ratio of 
Edo State came second with 93.4%. Ebony came fourth with 91.3%. Anambra came fifth. Anambra is the state. And this Anambra that came fifth. These are the products of the reform that Peter will be unleashed in education in Anambra State. They came fifth. These are several years after Peter will be left office. But Anambra is still reaping the benefit. But where are, what is the performance of the Lagosians? Where who would Tinubu build secondary school for? Why are they not here? Why are they not in this list? That's the question that uh, Reno Mokri and Co should please provide an answer for us. Ebony came fourth with 91.3%, and Ambra came fifth with 91.2% performance rate. Cross River followed with 90.6%. Then others that are following them in this in the in the same order is Rivers, Delta, Bayelsa, and Abia. The only the only northern states that appeared in top ten in 2021 was Benue. That's it. Tinubu's Southwest and his Lagos were nowhere to be found. So it is not about starting starting the building of a, a school from scratch. That's not what made. It doesn't pass you. It doesn't help you to pass work. That you build it doesn't mean that people who attended will pass work. When you don't have the things that people be provided, computers, good teachers, good motivation, and what have you. And Peter B did the right by handing over schools to the missionaries and was funding it well. And that has continued to this day. And you can see that several years after Peter B left office, Anambra keep on shining in WAEC, in Jump, in ICT, than Lagos State. So I challenge no more. To, to counter these work results that I just shared with you. These are, in, these are public domain information that every, every, every Harry and Jack, anybody can go and look at it. Anybody can go and check it. MBS, you can go to their website and check, it, check them out also. So that put to rest, as far as I'm concerned, about all the noises that uh, Bola made in the Bubiul school from, from scratch and finish it. And so what? What are their performance in WAEG? What are their performance in JAM? Compared to those who attended the schools that Peter B rehabilitated, made them functional motivated the teachers and even shared his phone number with head boys of those schools provided uh, good accommodation for them provided school buses all the schools in Anambra and all that and the result is what Anambra continue to reap the benefit to this day through the superlative performance of an umbrella work, which cannot be said, which the same cannot be said about work results of Lagos State school children who attended the school that Bola Medinibu, according to Reno Mokle, built from the scratch. It's, it's a, so because Bola Medinibu say he started the school and built it complete. Was, what was the benefit of that when the result cannot be seen in WAEC and JAMP results? 
In the next video, I'm going to look at the jump to show you how Anambra is flooring negotiations in jump, so that you now know the difference between what P2B did in Anambra State and what Bola Metinbo did in, Enugus, in a Lagos State. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.